In this video, I'm going to show you how to make the player dish mid-air like this. Sounds fun, right? So yeah, let's get started. So I've already set up the player movement here. And if you don't know how to make one, just watch this video up here. Alright, so let's see what it looks like right now. So here we can move around our player and jump. But what we want to do is to be able to dash when we are midair. So to do that, we need to open up the movement script. And here we need a couple more variables. So let's make a public float for the dash force. And another one, public float for the for the start dash time and a private float for the current dash time and also we need to make a boolean here call this is dashing and another private float for the dash direction Alright, so now inside of the update method, we will check if we have pressed any key here. So the key would be, let's say, key code dot left shift. Let's go for left shift. And also we will check if our player is not grounded. So our player has to be in the midair to be able to dash. And also we will check if the horizontal input is not equal to zero. So meaning we are either moving left or right. And if that's the case, then we will set the is dashing is equal to true. And set the current dash timer to the start dash timer. Also we will set the rigid body velocity of our player to zero because we want that sudden break and set the dash direction to the horizontal input also convert it into an integer here and if we are dashing then we will set the rb.velocity equals to the transform.right and we will multiply it with the direction and some dash force. All right. Also, we need to keep reducing the time. So current time minus equals to time dot delta time. And we will check if we have run out of time. So if it is less than equal to zero, then we will set the is dashing equals to false. Alright, all right, so that's all we need to do here. Let's save this, head back inside of Unity, select the player, and let's set these values here. For the dash force, I'll put in 15, and for the start dash time, I'll put in quarter of a second, so 0.25, and let's try this out. If I press shift, all right, so yeah, awesome, it works. Let's try one more time. And also we can play around with these values here. So let's try to increase the dash force to 20 and let's try this out. Cool, this looks much better. You can just play around with all these values here to, to fit your liking. All right, so now it's time to add some particle effects to our dash. So let's open up the player movement script and here we need to make a reference for our particle system. And we will call this particles. So when we start dashing and here we will just uh, play the particles. Particles.play 
Let's save this, head back inside of Unity. Alright. And I have already made a simple particle effects to try out. And of course you can replace it with your own particle effects at any time. Just drag and drop this in. And hit play. Awesome, so everything's look good. So yeah, that's it for this video. If you have any questions, let me know and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. And until next time, see ya.